All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to introduce you to something new. This is the Mr. Heater Fuel Keg. What it is, it's a uh, refillable one pound cylinder. And for those of you who follow this channel at all, you know I've done a lot of videos and testing with the uh, Flame King refillable. And up till now, this has been the only uh, player in the game as far as uh, you know, refillable legal one pound cylinders. And right off the bat, I'm gonna say that these things have worked great. I love them, I've used them for the last five or six years. I've refilled these, you know, hundreds of times. Um, I use them and abuse them and uh, they work awesome. Um, in fact, during uh, COVID, uh, they were really hard to find. Um, I saw some auctions on eBay, you know, they were selling for over $100 a piece. And now finally you can start um, seeing them, you know, I was just at Menards today where I picked up this fuel keg and, you know, they're, uh, you know, 15, 16 bucks. So they're back to uh, a normal price again. But anyways, Mr. Heater just released this fuel keg. And uh, right off the bat, um, just looking at it and feeling it, um, it feels very similar to the Flame King. Um, there's a little thicker weld on the bead here, you know, kind of feels like a keg. Um, like I said, I picked this up at Menards. It was $17.99. And uh, my first impressions were really good. This feels like a quality item. It's felt like it's built well. Uh, in fact, you know, comparing the two, they feel very similar. But it almost feels like this might even be like a thicker, you know, metal, whatever they use, steel or whatever. A um, couple of things I noticed right off the bat was uh, the cap. You know, the uh, the Flame King come kind of with that uh, almost, you know, spider web type cap that fits over the whole thing. This kind of a cheap plastic thing. It, it didn't last very long for me at all, and that's why I went and bought these uh, these brass caps here. And uh, you can get those right on Amazon. And especially if you're storing these up on the shelf or something in your garage, um, I definitely recommend getting the uh, brass cap. But I did notice on this fuel keg that it looks like the cap is a little better. And, uh, you know, maybe built to last a little longer. However, it is plastic, and I noticed pretty much right away that it feels like you can probably cross thread this thing and uh, it'll probably work, you know, in a pinch. But even for this, I'd probably recommend getting that uh, brass cap. I think it's going to last a little bit longer. The second thing I noticed was their uh, their design for the, uh, for the relief valve here uh, when you're filling it. The uh, Flame King has, you know, basically a set screw that you use a, an Allen wrench with. And, uh, you know, you, you actually have to have a little Allen wrench that you keep, you know, handy. And they're, they're small. It's a small size. And, and I have lost a couple. So, but that's how you tighten and uh, open that, open and close that. Um, now with this fuel keg, um, they have like a little split ring here. And it, it's a really pretty neat design. I was thinking it was screwing in and out. And it does screw in and out, but it's only, it's only simply a, a quarter turn. And that's all it is. It feels like it's probably spring loaded inside of there and you just shut it off and and honestly it seems like a great design. This is going to um, you know eliminate the need for tools, losing tools. Uh, even if you were to break or lose the split ring it looks like you can probably use a, a needle nose to open and close that. So uh, that's probably a good thing. Um, other than that everything looks pretty similar looking inside of here. Um, it's it's very similar to the inside of the uh, the Flame King. It's got a plastic sleeve and probably an O-ring. Um, one of the other things I noticed that's not on the Flame King, it looks like there's a separate uh, relief valve here as well. You know, pressure relief valve. If you overfill it, I'm guessing, or you know, if it expands too much, um, I, I think that's what that is. I'm not sure if that's a Schrader valve or not, but. Uh, Looks like it's slotted at least. So anyways, that's probably a good thing and uh, another upgrade from the from the Flame King, I'm guessing. Um, they do have tear weights on the bottom. And this one does feel a little heavier. Now this, I, this one is full, so it's kind of hard to compare. But uh, looking at the Flame King, it looks like the tear weight is uh, 1.4 pounds. And... The, the tear weight on here is really hard to read. Yeah, I, I can't even really see it. 
Looks like it says maybe 0.8 pounds, which doesn't seem right. At any rate, uh, the em this empty does feel a little heavier. But uh, anyways, so that's the fuel ke uh, fuel keg from Mr. Heater. This will work in all their heaters. Uh, basically any propane devices, grills, um, anything you need to propane. You could even put a torch on there and use it. And one of the things that the people always counter with when, when they ask why am I even using these, I can come up with a bunch of reasons why I prefer these over like a 20 pound tank. Uh, one, you don't have to bring a 20 pound tank out, you know. Those things get heavy and you just don't want to lug the thing around, you know. Uh, you don't have to deal with hoses, filters. Anyone who's been out, you know, ice fishing has always dealt with a, you know, a stiff hose. Um, the, the, uh, the nozzle will go into like some snow or ice or slush. You got to clean that off. Sometimes it gets iced up. You got to, you know, get that cleaned up. Um, you don't have to deal with purging that hose. Sometimes, you know, when you first turn that tank on, you have to purge all the air out of that line and, you know, you're, you're freezing and you just want to get warm and you can't get the thing lit. Um, with these one pounders, it, it's just, it's instantaneously. Um, also with the 20 pounders, a lot of times it's hard to tell how much, you know, propane is left in that tank. Um, so you'll get out there and now you're out of propane. So now what? Um, so you got to bring two 20 pounders. You got to have a spare 20 pounder. Um, it, you can, it's definitely easy to have spare ones of these out on the ice versus spare 20 pounders. So that's uh, simply another reason why I like using the one pounders and using the refillables. Um, it, you know, it's a big thing for the environment as well. You're not throwing away all these dis disposables, you know, and speaking of disposables, uh, the biggest reason, uh, you want to use these is just financially. Um, so when I was at Menards picking this one up, Right next to it were the uh, Coleman one pounders, and they were five sixty seven, I think. Uh, so just in general, if you said five pa uh, five dollars a piece, you figure you can get you know twenty of these out of a twenty pound tank. That's a buck a piece. So really, you only got to fill these you know four times to pay for themselves. So uh, that's definitely the uh, biggest benefit is just financially, it's just so much uh, less expensive. Now the one thing I don't have with this is they didn't have the actual refill adapter. And just from doing the research and looking, it appears to be the same as the Flame King. So we're going to take this outside. We're going to hook it up to the Flame King uh, refill adapter, and we're going to try it. I haven't looked at any of the instructions on how to do this or anything. So basically, I'm going in blind. I'm going to hook it up. I assume, you know, you open this, fill it till the propane comes out, and you close it. So um, I probably should look at the instructions, and I don't advise doing what I'm doing. You probably should read the instructions as well. But um, let's just go outside and we'll uh, fill this up and what I'll do is I'll in the you know for the future I'll mix this into my uh, rotation of my Flame King tanks and I'll do start doing some comparisons you know to see if uh, see how it compares with the actual use you know lifetime um, if they're uh, you know getting dinged up or rusted or if there's any leaks or anything but at this point I can't really say one's better than the other and if anyone's saying one's better than the other right now they're just plain lying because this these just came out so um, it's gonna take some time before we decide which one's better and honestly just having the options out there for me is really good like I said the Flame King if you can get the Flame King ones go for it they work great but uh, it's good to have a new player in the game and uh, let's go try out this right now so like I mentioned this is the uh, the Flame King adapter here but uh, we're gonna see if this works this is also the first time I've done this all right All right, so uh, we'll just open this up here, quarter turn. And I do have a little magnet on here to hold this valve down, but we're just gonna do this real time, see how it goes. Can you hear it filling? There's, I don't hear any air coming out though to relieve that pressure. Maybe I have this the wrong way. Interesting. Huh. Well, it can't be filled up already. Maybe I'm going to have to look at those instructions. 
this is really doing nothing. I did hear it fill up, but then it kind of stopped. So maybe we got to do something with this relief valve. All right, let me uh, check that out. Well, I don't know what to tell you guys. I scanned that barcode. Takes me to this uh, website, but there's really no instructions or anything. Tells you all about it, how to sign up to get more uh, updates, but uh, no information how to fill it. So I can't imagine that filled up in like five seconds like that. I guess it's possible, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's opened. I mean, it's doing nothing. It's, it's equalized, but I don't, how do you tell when it's done? Uh, the only thing I can think of is this Flame King adapter just doesn't work with it. So that's quite possible. I don't know why that would be, but uh, I don't know. I'm just, I guess we're just going to have to wait until I figure out how to do it. Okay, so here's the deal. It looks like there's a little pin in there that possibly has to be pressed down while it's filling that's not on this Flame King adapter. Uh, it was kind of a shit show, but I did get a hold of customer service and uh, they sent me instructions. You can't find instructions anywhere. There's a little code you scan. Uh, it just says, you know, sign up for updates. But I did get a hold of customer service. They sent me the instructions, and it's basically the same as the Flame King. You know, you open the relief valve, um, let the propane in, and then it releases out just like the Flame King. You know, you wait till the liquid comes out, and then you tighten it. So um, I'm guessing it's because of this uh, this pin here, that little hole. I believe there's supposed to be a pin and that's that's on me you know I'm using the flame king adapter so I'm gonna have to buy the actual uh, mr. heater adapter I guess for this to work I don't know if there's any way to bypass that so um, at any rate I gave you the uh, most of the lowdown on that fuel keg if you do get it make sure you get the uh, mr. heater adapter and uh, I'll try to do a follow-up video uh, after I pick that up. But uh, I kind of think Menards might have these out too soon because I didn't actually find the uh, adapter there either. It was on the website, but not on the... Uh, uh, I couldn't find it in the store. So uh, stay tuned. More to come.